हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम प्रेम गुप्ता योर इंग्लिश टीचर डेयर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेज वी वर डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर रेट ऑफ इंग्लिश ग्रामर दैट इज एडजेक्टिव काइंड ऑफ एडजेक्टिव डेयर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव रेड द डेफिनेशन और मीनिंग ऑफ एन एडजेक्टिव विथ एग्जाम्पल एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो रेड द फीचर्स ऑफ एन एडजेक्टिव and we have also completed the kinds in the kinds we have completed adjective of quality adjective of quantity adjective of number distributive adjective demonstrative adjective and interrogative adjective there are two kinds that is left that is proper adjective and possessive adjective dear students today we will discuss the proper adjective as well as possessive adjective but before starting the proper adjective we will revise the previous kinds previous things that is adjective of quality dear students the adjective of quality is a word which denotes the quality of a noun or pronoun in the sentence for example old building this is an old building in this sentence the word old denotes the quality of that building therefore that is known as what adjective of quality suppose that that is old and building b u i l t that is noun and the word old denotes the quality of that building therefore that is adjective of quality and quantity it denotes the quantity how much adjective of quantity denotes that how much thing is meant how much thing is meant that we cannot count that is uncountable noun for example some water okay any rice so that is uncountable that is adjective of quantity okay students we have read in the previous classes adjective of quantity shows how much of a thing is meant okay it gives the answer adjective of quantity give the answer of the question how much and the another kind is adjective of number that denotes the how many adjective of number denotes the how many person or how many things are meant it give the answer of the question how many okay for example many girls okay 100 boys 100 people that we can count the students adjective of quantity is uncountable noun and adjective of number is countable noun adjective of quantity give the answer of the question how much and adjective of number give the answer of the question how many okay students you keep in your mind and the next kind we have read that is distributive pronoun sorry distributive adjective in which i have told you in the distributive each every either neither yes students we have read i think either neither either neither these words are distributive pronoun when it is used with the noun when it is used with the noun each person every person okay in this way for example each boy had a pen in this sentence the word each denotes the distribution denotes the distributive pronoun distributive adjective and each boy each boy each boy that is noun that is noun and that is adjective okay what kind of adjective that is distributive adjective okay students and after that we have read the demonstrative demonstrative adjective dear students what is demonstrative adjective the word this that these 
दोज एंड सच दीज फाइव दिस दैट दीज दो सच दीज वर्स आर नोन एज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव ऑब्जेक्टिव वेन इट इज यूज विथ नाउन ओके दिस पेन इज ब्लाइ इन दिस सेंटेंस वी आर यूजिंग द वर्ड दिस टू सो द पेन टू सो दिस पेन एंड वी यूज दिस दैट दीज दो सच to show something to show an object to indicate an object to point out an object therefore that is known as distributive adjective sorry uh, demonstrative adjective okay students for example you have written it is also given in your book okay these mangoes are so you have written these mangoes are so okay students so just try to understand these kinds of adjective and after that we have read interrogative adjective i have told you what what which whose how much when these words are used with a noun to ask the question that is known as interrogative pronoun interrogative adjective okay students uh, it is given which book do you like which pen do you like dear students suppose that we are using which which is then that would be the pronoun if we are using the word this word the which whose how many with noun with noun not with helping verb when we are using the word which whose how many and one more that is what which what whose and how much when we use these words to ask the question with noun then that would be the interrogative adjective okay students i hope that you all have understood all these kinds kinds of adjective and now put the heading another kinds that is proper proper adjective just put the heading heading number 7 that is proper adjective just when so pen your notebook and put out the pen and start writing put the heading seven proper adjective okay students just write down this heading proper adjective okay students just write down proper adjective what does mean by proper adjective dear students in the previous chapter you have read proper noun proper noun what are proper nouns the word which denotes a particular person particular place particular animal particular name of anything that is known as proper noun and proper adjectives are made of with proper noun for example india for example india suppose that india india is what is the name of a particular country okay is the india is the name of a particular country and that is proper noun and suppose that we want to make it proper adjective then we have to add here and yeah. restless india india is proper noun but indian is proper adjective okay europe is proper noun european is proper adjective america is proper noun but american is proper adjective okay 
in the same way Shakespeare. Shakespeare is the name of a famous writer. Okay, that is Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a very famous dramatist in English literature, and that is noun. Is the name of a person. Therefore, that is noun. And when we write Shakespearean, Shakespearean, that is proper adjective. Okay, Shakespeare is proper noun, but Shakespearean is proper adjective. Okay, students, I hope that you all have understood what is proper adjective. Just write down about it. What is proper adjective? Just write down, students. Proper adjective. What is proper adjective? Just write down. Adjective made from adjective made from proper nouns. Proper nouns. Adjective made from proper nouns are called proper adjectives. Are called proper adjective. Proper adjective. Okay, students. Adjective made from proper noun are called proper adjective. Okay, just see. We will discuss. Just make two column proper noun. Proper noun and proper adjective. Proper adjective. Proper noun and proper adjective. Just see, India, you can write here, India is proper noun, India is proper noun and Indian, the word Indian is proper adjective. Okay, so just write on, India is proper noun, but Indian is proper adjective. Okay, China, C-H-I-N-I-A, China is the name of a particular country, therefore that is proper noun. But when we say that Chinese, that is proper adjective. Okay, America. America is proper noun. But American is proper adjective. In the same way, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Okay, but Shakespearean Shakespearean is proper adjective. Okay, students, just write down. The word India is proper noun. Indian is proper adjective. China is proper noun. Chinese is proper adjective. America is proper noun. American is proper adjective. Shakespeare is proper noun and Shakespearean is proper adjective. Okay, students, for example, you can write. You may also write the example. I am going to erase it. I hope that you all have written. Just write down, students, example. He is an Indian student. He is an Indian student. Dear students, in this sentence, what is noun? The word student is noun. What is adjective? 
that is indian the word indian is adjective what kind of adjective proper adjective because it is made from the word india with the proper noun that is india okay that is indian indian is proper adjective in this sentence one more example you can write down that is first second it is also given in your book you can write just see american people are very rich american people american people are very rich yes friends in this sentence what is proper adjective the word american is proper adjective here the word indian is proper adjective okay students i hope that you all have understood what is proper adjective it is made from proper noun okay students so just complete it in your notebook and after completion of it you will put the heading heading number 8 tense number 8 that is possessive adjective okay students i hope that you all have understood the things and come to the next possessive adjective possessive adjective Just put the heading possessive adjective. Heading number eight, tense number eight. That is possessive. Adjective. possessive adjectives okay possessive possessive means possession or ownership the word which used to show the possession with noun that is known as possessive adjective okay students just write down what is possessive possessive adjective possessive adjective shows possessive adjective sue possession possession or relation possession or relation okay students just write down possessive adjective so possession or relation and just write down what are the words the word in the bracket you can write my the word my our your his her his her its their etc are used as a possessive adjective as a possessive as a possessive adjective
ओके स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर दर्ड्स माई आवर योर हिज हर इट्स देयर दीज वर्ड्स आर यूज टू शो द पोजिशन रिलेशन और ओनरशिप ओके इन दिस गिवेन सेंटेंस इन देंटेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन सी एग्जाम्पल यू कैन राइट दिस इज हर हाउस दिस इज हर हाउस दिस इज हर हाउस डेस्टोरेंस इट इज यूज विद द नाउन हाउस द वर्ड हाउस इज नाउन इन दिस सेंटेंस दिस इज हर हाउस इन दिस सेंटेंस द वर्ड हर द वर्ड हर is denotes the position that the house belongs to her okay the word her is possessive uh, possessive adjective because it is used with the noun as well as it also shows the position or ownership okay and more example you can write down students another example I love my parents. I love my parents. Okay, students. Parents. The word parents is what noun, and just before the noun, you are getting an adjective that is possessive adjective because it shows the ownership or relation. It shows the relation. therefore that is possessive adjective okay students i hope that you all have understood the things possessive adjectives are those which shows the possession ownership or relation and these are the words my his him her their its these words are used as a possessive adjective and it is also followed by a noun you can see the sentence in the sentence the house house is what noun and just before the house we are getting an possessive adjective okay in this sentence parents the word parents is noun and the word my is possessive adjective because it shows the relation here it shows the possession Okay, students. I hope that you all have understood the proper adjective as well as possessive adjective. Okay, students. In the next class, we will discuss the exercises given in the chapter. If you have any kind of doubts, any kind of problem in this chapter, you can ask on WhatsApp. Okay, students. That's all for today. Thank you.